I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching the Noon Institute of Biblical Research. A uh, very special broadcast this evening. Short. It was actually going to be a little bit longer. There was some incredible revelation from Sister Jennifer uh, that I wanted to be able to share with you guys. But unfortunately, uh, I got something else heavy on my heart that I need to bring out. So I'll have to bring that out at a little bit later date. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to take with you and share with you in a short broadcast here, uh, a very special message here from Isaiah chapter 12. Uh, I will kind of throw in one other thing that Sister Jennifer shared with me that I think will be a blessing to you. I'd like to just share a little piece of that anyway uh, this evening. And also uh, be sure to not just watch today, but tomorrow's broadcast. I have another broadcast here coming out on the Noon Institute. Incredible, incredible revelation that the Father God just released or revealed to me today. I shouldn't say released. Sounds like I'm getting a uh, an email from him. So not to mean it like that. But anyway, uh, an incredible revelation that the Lord has just allowed me to see regarding uh, the entire biblical history of 2,000 years ago being reset up today, all the way back to the Maccabee brothers. Uh, the Lord just really was so kind to reveal and unfold this to me, and I cannot wait to share that with you guys. It'll also appear partially on Israeli News Live as well, because it is a prophetic insight dealing with biblical news, maybe even in its entirety on Israeli News Live. Uh, but uh, in fact, if you go to watch Israeli News Live, uh, or the broadcast we released today, you get a little taste of it there. So I don't want to spoil too much. Get a little taste of it there. I'm sure it's going to bless your heart. It's the end of the broadcast I shared with you there on there. And also, those of you that uh, feel in your heart that you want to, uh, God has led you to, to, to help support the ministry here, we thank you for that. And also want to uh, let you know, our websites are now, have been totally repaired, placed up on a new server, and should be running without issues. Uh, we, had, we were having a lot of people have issues there that had contacted us to let us know, and I thank you for letting us know that. If you have any issues, please email me. I know that I've got more than 2,000 emails that are still unanswered, and I apologize for that. We've been way behind. I get so many emails so fast, and I try to answer them all myself, and I'm getting so far behind now, it's getting very difficult. But do email me. Uh, we'll do our best I can to, to see if there is still any issues. But IsraeliNewsLive.org, as well as IsraeliNewsLive.co.org, Ill. Our Israeli website is up and running. Uh, so uh, if you'd like to, to donate, you can do so there. Or, of course, at the end of the broadcast, our uh, address is here also. Thank you so kindly. God bless you. Let's get right into this here. Isaiah chapter 12. You guys may already know this. Maybe it's just new to me, but I had to share it with you because it kind of enhances a revelation that I've had a long time ago. Uh, on another issue, but I just had to share it with you, especially for my Jewish friends, because this is another proof who Mashiach really is. Watch what it says. And in that day thou shalt say, I will give thanks unto, the, unto thee, O Lord, which is God's divine name, Hashem, um, or Yahweh, as some people call, as they say there, it says right there, it's yod Hey vav Hey in the Hebrew on your screen there, I will give thanks unto thee, O, o Lord, for thou, though thou was angry with me, Thine anger is turned away, thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For, for, the, for God the Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. This is one reason why a lot of people realize that it was uh, our, our Heavenly Father, the very God of Israel that spoke to Moses, the yod heh vav -Hey, Yahweh, uh, Yehovah, Yahuwah, however you pronounce it, I prefer not to pronounce it because just Zephaniah said we, we would know it at a very near date here, in fact, uh, is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. And when he's become my salvation, not only was the salvation for Israel at the Red Sea and delivering Israel uh, uh, through the waters there, and that was deliverance through the waters as well. But watch what he says. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Now, that actually speaks of Israel coming through not only the Red Sea, but also the waters of salvation when Moses was commanded to go and smite the rock that it bring forth its waters. And if you remember, 
he was commanded. The children of Israel were murmuring and complaining. They'd come out of, the, out, of the, out of Egypt. They'd seen all these great miracles. They crossed the Red Sea, delivered by God himself. And then now they're complaining. They said, we got no water and you brought us out here, Moses, only to make us thirst to death. But what did God do? He says, take the elders of Israel, go out there, judge the rock, smite the rock, that bring forth this waters. And he did so. Now, not talking about 38 years later where God commands him to speak to the rock that it bring forth its waters. The first time he smites the rock, okay? That was showing that the Messiah, when he comes, that he would be the rock of salvation for Israel, but he would be smitten. In fact, verse 3 is the very prophecy of the coming of the Messiah. And where was this fulfilled out? Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. That joy of water of well that was drawn out for salvation was when Yeshua himself stood there right before that woman at the well when he said, I have needs to go by Samaria. And when he went there, there was a woman that came out to the well to draw waters. And he said, woman, bring me a drink. She says, sir, the well is deep and you have nothing to draw with. And you're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. I'm just paraphrasing. And we don't have no dealings with one another. But Yeshua said, if you knew who it was that was talking to you, you would ask me for a drink. I'll bring you water that you ain't got to come to this well no more. Buddy, when he said that, that set the fire on fire for that woman. What was it? Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. She said, sir, first there was a, they, had a, they had an ecclesiastical debate, right? You know, uh, you know, you say that there's salvation. You Jews say it's over in Jerusalem. My father said we worshiped here on this mountain all along. And, and, and of course, Yeshua, he sets the story straight. Finally, the only thing that would wake her up is when he said, you know what? He says, you've had five husbands and the one you're living with now is not yours. Buddy, that got her attention. That's what got her attention. She said, sir, I know that when the Messiah comes, that's what he'll do. How did she know that? She knew it from the story of Abraham when Sarah laughed within herself and the angel said, why did Sarah laugh? She didn't laugh out loud. She laughed within herself, but the angel knew it. He knew the secret of the heart and that's what it was with Yeshua. He knew the very secrets of her life and when he could reveal the secrets of her life, she knew that the Messiah would do the exact same thing. See? That's the salvation. So she was drawing that water out of the wells of salvation because the well of salvation was there. Now, isn't it interesting? And in that day, shall you say, give thanks unto the Lord, proclaim his name, declare his doings among the peoples, make mention that his name is exalted. What name? Yeshua. That was the name. That was the name. Thanks unto Yahweh. Yahweh, which is, he was, he will be, he shall ever be. Is that not exactly Yeshua? Hebrews 13, 8. He is yesterday, the same today to, and forever. Tomorrow and forever, right? I think it's amazing, friends. Singing to the Lord, for he hath done glorious. This is made known in all the earth. Cry aloud and shout, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. In the midst of thee. Do you realize that when he was on the cross, so, and that Roman soldier pierced his side, and that water and that blood separated and come out of him, there was the well of water. There was the rock smitten. There was the water that was gushing from his side as the rock that was smitten by Moses and the elders of Israel at that time, all those hundreds of years before that. There the rock was on Calvary, standing or, or hanging there on the cross. And when the rock was smitten, the waters came forth. And I guarantee you one thing, those that drank that water, those were the ones that lived. Those were the ones that were shouting and glorifying God for the water of life that had been forsaken all the way back by Adam and Eve had once again been restored. The waters of life, I think it's so beautiful. So therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Yeshua, Jesus that is, is the wells of salvation. I trust it's a blessing to you. Can't wait to share with you the message that I have for you tomorrow. Be sure to share this website. If you're not subscribed to it, subscribe to it. Share it with your friends. You know, we have Israeli News Live. There's 
tens of thousands and thousands and thousands of people on Israeli News Live. It started off as our teaching channel. But you know, with this whole idea about, you know, these false news sites and stuff, maybe one day they're going to whack that channel. Who knows? But right here, we're going to keep on bringing the good news. We're going to keep bringing the gospel of Yeshua to the world. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching the Noon Institute. Shalom.